Today we're going to talk about infinity. What is infinity? We're going to try and see if we can say actually what infinity is. Because one of the whole points about mathematics is to take some notion that's kind of vague and fuzzy in your head that you've got some idea about and turn it into, express it in a way that means we can actually do something with it. Make rigorous arguments with it, you know, have arguments with our friends about it, um, state important facts about it, do things with it. Because if we can't do anything about it, with it, then it's just a kind of fuzzy notion in our head, and we can all have fuzzy notions in our head. So what is infinity? What is infinity? Now we often write infinity with that funny sideways eight symbol, like that. And the question is, can we then use it as if it were a number? Is it a number? Is it a number? Well, to answer that question, we need to know what a number is. And that's really difficult. I'm not sure I could say. Can you say what a number is? I don't know, but I can say some characteristics that numbers ought to have. It's just like the fact, like, you know, what, what is a, what's a good student? I don't know exactly what a good student is, but I can say some things that a good student should be. They should work hard, be curious, ask questions, things like that. So if, if someone doesn't do those things, then it's probably true that they're not a good student, even though we can't make a whole definition of what a good student is. So even if we don't have a whole definition of what a number is, we do know some things that we can do with them. What can we do with numbers? We can add them together, we can multiply, we can divide, we can take things away, we can solve equations, maybe, if we're feeling clever. And so the question is, can we do that with infinity? Well, first of all, can we even, can we make infinity? I mean, usually with numbers, with, with the, the natural numbers, the counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, when you're little, you discover one day, you first start by, you know, someone teaches you how to count up to 10, and then you discover that there are more numbers than that, someone teaches you how to count up to 20, and you discover that there are more numbers than that, and then eventually you realise that if you keep adding one to numbers repeatedly, you'll get all of the whole numbers. And suddenly you realise that there is no biggest number, it's not that there are a thousand numbers or, you know, what's the biggest number? There may be the biggest number you can think of right now, but you can always add one and get a bigger one. So, can we make infinity by adding one repeatedly? Can we make infinity by adding one? do you think? doesn't seem quite right, does it? Because what is infinity supposed to be? Infinity is supposed to be, well, it's supposed to be infinite. And so if we could add one and eventually get there at some point, then it wouldn't be very infinite, would it? To be infinite, it should mean that we never get there, no matter how many times we keep adding one. So this doesn't sound like a very promising approach. It seems a bit dubious. I mean, you know, 26 billion, that's quite a big number. And I don't, I don't think I have the patience to sit and add one 26 billion times so that I actually get to 26 billion. But I do know that in theory, it, it would work, right? You can always, in theory, add one repeatedly to get numbers, even though in practice you wouldn't want to do it. But with infinity, you really shouldn't be able to do that because then it wouldn't be infinite. So let's try something else. What else What else do you think makes infinity? Well, we might be able to say, people, people often say that if you divide by zero, you get infinity. So let's try that. Can we make infinity by dividing by zero? So you might try doing 1 divided by 0 
and you might try declaring that that's infinity. Well, let's try doing some things with that, shall we? I mean, what if we, what if we multiply both sides of that by zero? Let's try multiplying both sides by zero. Well, on the left-hand side, if we multiply this by zero, then it ought to cancel out the zero on the bottom. So that's going to give us one. And what do we get on the right-hand side? Well, everything multiplied by zero is zero. And so we seem to have achieved one equals zero. You should be feeling a little bit ill now. Isn't very good. So what went wrong there? Well, you might be jumping up and down going, I know what went wrong, I know what went wrong. It was that infinity times zero isn't zero, you might be saying to yourself. Because you might be saying to yourself, well, obviously, infinity and zero cancel each other out. Infinity times zero, that must mean that infinity times zero is one. Or, if we have infinity times zero, Well, let's try this again, shall we? Let's try doing 2 divided by 0. What's 2 divided by 0? Well, everyone always tells you that if you divide by 0, you get infinity. So 2 divided by 0 is also infinity. Now what? Well, if we multiply both sides by 0, out the zero on the bottom, so we should get two. Now what do we get on the right-hand side? Well, on the right-hand side, if we multiply by zero, we should get infinity times zero. And we've just decided that infinity times zero is one. So then we get two equals one. Oh dear. Even that. divided by zero is infinity. We could say four divided by zero is infinity. And so on. So obviously something has gone wrong here. And so next time we'll see some more things that go wrong. Fun making things going wrong deliberately.